Hello, another small video about the Uniform 3D app. So I try to edit a UV map. Okay, so, but I start with Nomad Sculpt. So here, this mesh here, I extracted a mask. So, um, and now, yeah. I reset the patches here for this mesh and then I quad remesh the whole thing here maybe uh, maybe about this here and see what happens um, I go a step back I want less so this is a nice low poly mesh okay so I delete the sphere and now I export this as a OBJ file uh, without textures and I export it now. So, so I say this is test. Okay. So now we need the uniform app. And this is the UV thing, is, uh, this is a part that interests me. Um, okay, the outliner, I delete this one. And now I'm pressing the plus thing here. And import paint mesh. And we need the test one here this one Ta, it's there so I press on my home button and yeah the first thing is uh, there's no wireframe I I hate this uh, I want a wireframe to see so yeah you can activate here uh, a tool um, I think this cozy blanket tool or something then you see a wireframe but okay um, and for the UV thing here, we have to find here a tool and this is called Mark Seam. So this one here. So I press and hover here over this thing here. So I try the indicator here, this one. And Mark Seam. So with a Mark Seam tool, it's possible here with a pencil so you can draw here uh, seams so I yeah I start here with this seam so I draw along not nice okay and you can draw again over the seam and delete it so maybe I draw here and I don't want this, I draw again. So there's no, um, yeah, I think there's no loop selection at the moment or I don't know it. So this is a wrong loop, but <laughs> I don't care. Um, it's about the, the workflow, so first seam and then I want this one yeah it's it's okay so but so, such a loop selection thing um, Maybe it works with the other tool. I don't know at the moment. S 
so and then yeah make here a seam and the and here okay i think the seams are yeah for this example okay ah. So, yeah, okay, here at the bottom here is um, the object icon here. You can press on it. And here it's possible, here is the UV mapping thing located. And here's a, a check, yeah, here can, you can press unwrap and pack islands. So I press this and yeah, I think it worked. Um, here in the background you can can see anything. I don't know if there's such an inspector thing or um, yeah okay but I know another thing here and here um, in the for the viewports thing here at the top um, there you find such a UV paint um, setting so a split screen. So when you press this, you get here on the other side here um, the UV map. And here when you press on your on your object, yeah, no, it should appear here. So this is the first problem. Um, I don't know why. Um, maybe we have to change to a other tool uh, here. Um, so, because here in the mark seam tool, there it's not visible. So, I have to use the paint tool, and then here the the mesh appears here. But again, here there's no wireframe anymore. So I don't like it. Um, but um, I get here my UV maps. This is nice. So you can slide here um, with this thing a little bit and make it bigger. And uh, now it's possible to use here the other tools here. You see here a transform tool. So when you pick it, um, then it's possible to to move the um, yeah the islands around. And so there are points here on the mesh here the upper right point is rotation the upper left is i think scaling and here in the middle is dragging around so so when i pick here this position you can rotate the whole thing and when i pick here this position i can scale it but when you rotate it, then the scaling thing is here, I think, or here. I'm not sure, yeah. So you have to, to know where your position is at the moment. So it's a little bit confusing. So um, I don't know where to rotate now. So here, here, it's always scaling and yeah, I can't pick it anymore to rotate. So I don't know where the problem is. So now it's even not possible to scale. Uh, now it's scaling. Okay. I uh, see the problems, but it's um, on the way. So. So now it's possible to place the whole thing, uh, bring it in a new position, like you want. So um, the other thing is, uh, you see here, here is uh, uh, the three action buttons here, M0, M1, M2, you can press and hold it. Um, so for smoothing here the mesh you can smooth out the whole thing and you can tweak points so when you press and hold this one uh, you can move around the single points like this 
and okay and there are more tools i have to find all the tools you can use here for this um so let's use this one draw displacement so here you find a select button and when this select button is there you can here select um, the, the thing so you have outside here in the viewport you can so select okay no this is not the right tool uh, trim paint sample erase uh, trim move oh yeah so now at the moment i use the move tool and press select so when you do this you select all again or downwards okay so let's select here a mesh like this and then outside downwards inverts and upside all and downwards clear okay so now i can use the elastic thing here and uh, stretch the mesh and do funny things with it so uh, it's a lot to test so yeah but you see how it works so yeah that's it for the moment with this video um you have to experiment your own for your own and yeah have fun with sculpting ciao